What's up guys? We, uh, if you've been following my channel, you know what's been going on. Um, not able to do much fishing, uh, kayaking or whatnot. So while the wife is resting and healing inside, I figured I'd take on a few little small projects that I've had kind of churning in my head for a while um, for the rooftop tent and just some mods. Um, I have made some modifications that I lost the footage of me doing and I'm, I'll do another follow-up video uh, of those to catch you guys up to speed. So basically, when I built the rooftop tent, if you followed that build, uh, I ordered uh, the foam from, uh, it escapes me at the moment where I ordered it from. <laughs> but if you follow the build, I told you where I ordered it from. And I ordered it to almost like max thickness. The only thing, the only room I left available to fold the tent in my calculations were uh, actually for like a sleeping bag and some thin pillows, that type stuff, and be able to fold up. And it worked out pretty well um but you know i found that uh, the mattress was just a little bit too firm um i tried to calculate you know look at my weight how big that i am uh versus uh, the firmness of the foam i wish i'd went a little bit lighter on the on the firmness of it but i didn't uh so here we are and i'm not gonna buy another one because that was a hundred something bucks that i'm not gonna respend uh, but what i did find was uh, you see it right here in the background and i'll put a link in the description of what it is it turns out there are these uh, air mattresses sleep pads for camping and for tents that um, are actually width wise are the same size as my mattress now i've got those radius cuts on my mattress i'll show you in a minute um, so lengthwise this thing's just slightly shorter which i think is going to work out fine I'm actually going to put this thing underneath the sheeted cover that I have over the mattress and then when I need it I'll inflate it underneath that and uh, obviously the sheet's going to confine it and the tent's going to confine it but uh, let me show you a little more what that looks like. So basically this is it. So you see my, I pulled the mattress out of the tent. It's from the inside obviously and set it out on my work table here um, and you see how much shorter and take it to the front this thing's also got built-in pillows which i think is going to make it uh, great honestly um so if i put it the pillow actually hangs over which i am really hoping the cover just kind of confines that doesn't let it you know insulate oh sorry inflate and uh this end will be pretty puffy and then the one thin pillow that i have can just kind of ride on top of this or if in a pinch I've got a pillow built into my mattress uh, and I can deflate it um, but you see it's perfect it's perfect width wise to that tent now how does this thing inflate well first off it uh it's more of a backpacking sleep pad it comes in this case uh and you see the dimensions there it couldn't have been better 47 Let's see, 47.2 inches wide and 79 inches long. And it's uh, almost two and three quarter inches thick when you want it to be. And the whole thing doesn't weigh but like 2.29 pounds as you can see right here. But it rolls up in this bag. Um, and obviously I'm gonna use this bag for something else. Um, pardon the fan noise if you're, getting, if you're getting noise from that fan over there. Uh, it's hotter than Hades out here. So it's got it's got your typical, um, you know, fill and deflate valves here. But then it's got this little cool feature to where on the ground, it's got this one-way valve. And uh, you basically, you put your foot over this thing, you, which seals this hole. You press down and it sucks it it's a pump it's a, it's actually a foot pump and it makes this thing pretty firm it's really soft uh, and if you want to just deflate it or inflate it with a regular pump or by your mouth i actually have tried inflating it by mouth too i was able to do it with a little effort and it works pretty well so my idea is i kept it really simple on this cover you see there's my foam inside there i'm actually going to deflate this thing 
put it inside this cover and then inflate it again. And uh, my idea totally or uh, essentially is done camping. I literally, uh, if you can see this, one handed. There, I just pull the pull the valve and deflate it, and fold the tin up. And in theory, folding the tent up is going to deflate it. It's going to press all the air out of it that it needs to just fold over, and that'll be great. And then when I get ready to use it again, I fold it open, and I plug the uh, plug the plug off here. And I can, you can see right here, this thing's elevated. I can, from the end of the tent, the foot of the tent, I can inflate this thing all over again. If I want to go faster and I do have a pump, I can just pump it up. A lot of times I actually do because I have other inflatable items. Uh, so that's not really a big deal. So let me get to work on uh, making this thing do what I want it to do. Let me get this inside that cover and then I'll show you what it looks like. see that it uh, it inflates this kind of sticks up um, probably gonna finish this out and uh, sew this cover on better so that it'll hold this down and uh, yeah all right I think that's a win let me get it inside the tent now and I'll let you know it's hotter than hotter than uh, Hades out here so let's we'll see how this goes all right, so I'm in the tent. It is hot, and it's hot. I should open the uh, fly on the side, but um, yes, this is gonna do it. Actually, when I lay on the pillow, actually pretty comfortable. Awkward camera angle, I'm sure, but uh. Yeah, this is gonna do it. And I'll keep my thin pillow and thin blanket in here. I think this is gonna be the trick. Got, uh, I got some, 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 some trips in the, in my head anyway, planning them in my head. I don't know if it's gonna be with the kayak or just literally take this and camp and go fishing at lakes at a state park. Um, I know some of you are thinking like, you have a camper, why not use it? Well. Uh, if I'm going by myself, it's just a lot of trouble to take the camper. I don't really care to, to be honest. Uh, it's nice. It's it's uh, it's definitely um, makes things simpler. But I don't know. I say simpler, more comfy. But let me get out of this hot box. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Showing you how to install it, showing you what it is, showing you how I put it in mine uh, underneath the cover. And you don't have to do that. I mean, you can just simply just roll it up if you want to, throw it in your gear bag. Don't leave it in the tent at all. Um, but I figured, what the heck? If it'll stay, just leave it. So now I'm gonna show you the idea of uh, leaving it in the tent. I'm gonna fold this puppy up with you watching and just show how it works. I haven't actually tested this yet, so here we go. Now obviously I've got the, the flies open and all that. I'm trying to let it air out. It's been piled up for a while. But I've got the drain on the on the mattress open. All 
All right. So as you can see, I mean, you can't really see because you didn't build this thing. Um, but it's, um, it's, it's, I still got a little room for a blanket and such. This is usually how it folds up. And I usually just cut this in like so. And then uh, put my buckles over like so. And I do this, well, it's hard to do one-handed. There it goes. Put my buckles on like that. And uh, I do those so I can quickly throw the cover on and put a couple of cover snaps. The cover's hanging here, if you can't tell, if you haven't watched my whole build. It zips across the bottom. I can unzip it and take it completely off. But <clears throat> I left it this way on the trailer so that when I unfold this, the um, this catches the lip here to maintain the level between the two and then the uh, board actually has something else to stabilize on and then it's got the ladder holding it otherwise so all right uh, let me fold it back out with the shorter uh, with it sitting on the trailer, it's shorter than normal. Um, what you have to do is you have to fold it from the top. That's it. Future mod, I believe, is uh, going to be removing a uh, piece of the ladder, I think. I don't know. I need to. Or I could essentially just take off the bottom section and put the feet here. I don't know. I got to play with it and see what I can do there. Um, but it's in an awkward height being on the trailer, so I want to fix that. And it is, it is uh, long enough. Even if I did that, it's still long enough to be on top of the Jeep and everything. So it's way longer than I needed to be. All right, guys. That wraps it up. Um, those of you who are following me all the time, you know, if you will, just keep praying for my wife, uh, my daughter, and my family in general. Um, I really like doing these how-to videos. I want to continue doing that, so, but uh, definitely hard when life problems, life things start happening. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and I hope you like the vids. Definitely reach out, give me some ideas, thoughts, what would you do different? Um, what else? I'm gonna try to get over here in the in the fan because I am sweating down. Yeah, there we go. All right. Till next time. Thanks for watching.